Morning folks. In the third week of June, this was underwater. This was a river. Killed a little bit of crop. There's probably about an acre's worth here. So we got some big water hemp, as they call it. Terrible weed. We're gonna mow it. That's some satisfying work there. This thing just eats. So you see this rock right there. Before the big rain, that was sitting right here in the fence line. There was so much water and it pushed that big rock about three feet into the ditch. Those were some massive weeds. That's nice to have mowed down. Those weeds were not only next to the fence line, but right by a gate. I think about all the drowned out spots we had from that big June rain that we can't see and we can't get to. We're going to run into some big weeds. My folks are gone. They're on a little vacation before harvest season. Good for them. Hope they have a good time. I think they're checking out Niagara Falls. Got a bee flying next to me. We got a project we want to work on. That gate that the cattle almost destroyed. Uh, we're redoing that, so I need to grab a bunch of stuff, load this up. I need like five different attachments. I need this because there's a tree that's about touching power lines. Get loaded up and see if we can tackle this project ourselves today. fit everything we're gonna have to make two trips I'm on hold well palace builders is just pulling in they're gonna get put in the floor in our Brock bin I was just on the phone with our local concrete business because we need to pour some concrete in a bin at Jeff's and then palace is actually gonna put a new floor in a, a bin over at the North Farm so I need to get that done tomorrow because after they finish this, they want to head right over there since it's a short drive. We got this tree here. It's getting in the way, but also look at that. It's like touching the Highline wire. I don't think that's safe, so I'm gonna cut that down for safety reasons. Yeah, that, that one branch is like tickling the wire. Got the trees down, nothing tickling the power lines. We're gonna dig a hole. See, what my dad always tells me is the, the man that owned this and farmed this decades ago, when he put posts in, he used a lot of cement. So I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna leave that there, it's solid. But I'm gonna dig a hole about right here to set a new post in. We'll need to set the drive-through gate up. It's going right here just so we can measure that out and we'll set a post at the end of that as well. Brought some panels here to keep the cattle from pushing on my posts and getting out. Since I couldn't fit everything on the trailer, we gotta run back. We're gonna get the uh, post pounder, post hole digger, a couple posts, a couple bags of sack creek, and maybe a bucket of water. Needed to stop for some diesel at Storla Station. I wanna show you this. In a little bit, I'm gonna grab two posts from home, and I got them from a business called Superior Steel. Storla Station's a new dealer 
for their products and uh, they got things like weld on gates right here look at these beautiful things that's heavy built very good quality I think that's an 18 footer right there and then there's some of these as well I might end up using this gate for the project we're working on right now they got all different sizes they also make continuous they make some cattle handling equipment and they make some nice bale feeders those are heavy built I have a bundle of I think 24 steel posts at home right now that I got from Superior Steel if you're local around here and need anything like that Storla Station is a dealer we even got this flag that's pretty cool authorized dealer superior standard superior steel livestock equipment bags of concrete mix left from all the summer projects getting low that'll be just enough for today we got those two posts we're gonna dig a hole throw the pole in smack it down cement it started digging this one and right away we are hitting the concrete that they used to pour this post in. And I don't want to move further away or put it in an undesirable spot. So I think I'm just going to have to cut these wires, pull this whole thing out. Which is the right way to do it. I'll be happier with that result in the end. what I was trying to avoid a giant hole but got to do what you got to do we got the posts in hey, look at that free rebar we'll start pouring the cement bags in and we'll get out of here let that set up for a few days looks pretty nice hopefully that ends up fitting in there if it doesn't there'll be a problem thinking there'll be about 20 foot of gate here maybe close to 22 foot you know we have a hayland over there we pull bale trailers through here full of hay so that's why we put the gate kind of off over here added a lot of extra dirt and gravel so we can get a nice wide turn let's load everything up and get some lunch Looks like the folks from Palace went to get some lunch. They got a whole cut for the for the unload auger. They got the supports for the floor in. I've never actually seen this part before. That's pretty cool. And then we're gonna have one big fan here, help dry and cool the corn a little bit. I went with the Brock unloader. It actually has this uh, emergency sump here, so in case something plugs up, 
in our regular center sump. I have the option to open this up and uh, hopefully keep pulling grain out. So tomorrow morning, we'll have a concrete truck coming, cement truck, whatever you want to call it. Dad, Uncle Jeff, and I tore out the old fence system. This was full of dirt and corn from mice and, and just the old fan. This system hardly works, so tomorrow I'm gonna pour it solid. And then outside the bin here, Palace Builders hooked us up. They had a used floor for a 36 foot bin. So that's sitting out there. So once they're done putting the floor in my bin, they're gonna put this used floor in this bin and we're gonna have a, a new unload and this thing should function like a brand new bin. Here's Niagara Falls for ya. Dag nabbit, that's a lot of water. Reminds me of June 21, 2024. how we pretty much just take the fluff off and leave a, a hard surface every once in a while if there's moisture you can dig in and we try not to do that but we got it scraped up got two pretty good sized piles and yeah, that'll probably be about three loads there two loads there five pretty average load up let's go see if we're gonna get in the field next week we got husks getting brown finally. Oh yeah, we're gonna be close. So I'll just grab about three ears and we'll shuck them. Thirty-five point five has not changed much since the first time we tested, which was thirty-seven seven. Grab this one here though, very, very brown husk. These other ones had a little bit of a green. Let's test this one by itself. What I would say, drier ear. That one's thirty-three percent. They're moving right along on that bin. I need a haircut bad. Really bad. That ain't good. Anyway, with mom and dad on vacation and you know, their lawn needs mowed. They won't be back for about five days. It'll be really bad then, just like my hair. So I'm gonna mow the lawn for them because I'm their favorite son. end of the day with installing the fan they like to do the tethered style versus over here this one has a concrete pad poured underneath it sometimes either the bin will settle or this concrete pad underneath and then start kinking the, the sheet metal so they recommended we do this and I thought that was just fine so don't have to worry about something shifting and bending the sheet metal over in here this time tomorrow this bin should be done 100% besides the electrical work. So 
So it's good timing because harvest is but a month away. Thanks for watching, folks. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. Echo. Sunny Farms.